so now let's see what are the topics that i'm going to cover in this video is so we'll see what exactly the 2D transformation is and next what are the types of the 2D transformations and in the types of 2D transformation one of the technique is the 2D rotation. So we'll discuss what exactly the 2D rotation is with an examples and finally we will work out with one example problem so that you'll get a complete clarity on how the object is rotated okay based on the angle. So you all know that transformation is nothing but changing some graphics to another picture by simply applying the rules. So if you want to try to change any object size or the shape, uh, you can apply the transformation techniques, right? So uh, the one thing you have to remember that the transformation techniques can be applied only the object that is already created. If the object is not there, you can't apply the transformation techniques. So first try to create the object and then apply the transformation on that object. Or else you can directly apply the transformations on already created object also. Okay, so this 2D transformations are playing a very important role in computer graphics and which is responsible for to reposition the graphics on the screen and change their size as well as the orientation. So the 2D transformations apply on the 2D dimensional planes. So now different types of transformations uh, or uh, translation, scaling, rotation, sharing and the reflection. So all these techniques can be applied on the 2D plane, uh, 2D objects and as well as the 3D objects. So in this video, try to learn about what exactly the 2D rotation is. Rotation, when we are talking about the rotations, we have to work on the trigonometry, right? Because the angles, whenever the angles concept is there, just recall your trigonometric uh, formulas. It's a simple formulas. So it is a process of changing the angle of an object. It can be either in the clockwise or in the anti-clockwise direction. The object that is in 2D rotation rotates with respect to an angle in two-dimensional plane. Okay, let's rotate an object by a given angle about a given pivot point and print the new coordinates. So what did this mean pivot values? Means one point is given. So that point has to be rotated in with an angle. So how it is possible? Now let's see here. Here they are given some input values 100, 100, 150, 200, 200, so like that. They are given some input values. So let's take this is 100, 200, 300. This is a 2D plane. So that's why I'm taking this 500. Okay. So this is 100 x y axis 200, 300, 400. So like this. Okay. So now let's try to right so 100 100 okay 150 200 somewhere here and 200 200 okay and 200 150 so this is your object this is your object let's take this is a b and c and d this is your input then they are asking us to rotate with an angle of 90 degrees. Whenever I am trying to rotate this object in 90 degrees, this object will appear this side. Okay. So this side. 90 degrees rotation. So this can be up. up uh, we will get this type of uh, rotation by applying the formulas. So see here. Before and after. This is before transformation, rotation. And this is after rotation. So this is the original figure, whatever just now I had explained, 100, 200 by applying the coordinates. So the output is like minus 100, 100, minus 200, 150. So this is minus 100. So y x axis minus 200, minus 300, minus 400, like that. Okay. So uh, it will rotate the object and this uh, after uh, rotating the 90 degrees, so the object will appear like this. This is a mirror image. Okay. So, means it's just rotating, not mirror image, it's just rotating the object. So, for rotating an object, we have to rotate every vertex in the diagram individually. Okay. So, on rotating a point uh, P x comma y by an angle A about the origin, we get a point P x dash y dash. The value of x dash and y dash is calculated by, this is a formula. So, let me explain you these formulas. So, let us take my the coordinate, so my uh, given coordinate, x coordinate is r cos b and y is r sin b. Okay, 
So this is my graph. Okay, this is my graph. So here, let's take this is an origin. Okay, means here the zero, it is there. And the pivot value, whatever the p value is this, this is my p value, x comma y, it's a given. Okay, so my x comma y, let's take this is my point. Let's take this is b. Okay, so after rotating with an angle, after rotating with an angle, my new value is p dash, x dash comma y dash. And this angle is a. Let's call this is a. So what is an x coordinate? So what is x, y, the original coordinates? This is x, y, right? The original coordinate x is r is the radius, okay? So r is the distance from origin to p. Distance from origin to p. And cos b. <laughs> this is cos b. I'm just talking about the old coordinates. This is cos b. And y is r sin b. And I want to find out the new coordinates. So how you are going to find the new coordinates? The new coordinates are x dash is equal, is equal to. Sorry. So the x dash is equal to r cos a plus b. x dash is equal to r. So this is my cos. So a plus b. This is complete is the new coordinates. a plus b. So, R cos, in place of B, you have to write A plus B. Now, multiply it. So, R, what is the formula of R cos A plus B? Cos A plus B is equal to cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. So, multiply with R cos B or cos A minus R sin B sin A. So, according to this question, uh, according to R cos B means X. R cos B means X, right? X cos A. And what is R sin B? R sin B is Y. Y sin A. So the new coordinates, if you want to find the X coordinate, new coordinate, X cos A minus Y sin A. So where A is the theta, the angle that it rotates. Okay. And Y dash, similarly R sin A plus B. So what is the formula of sin A plus B? Sin A cos B plus cos A sin B. So, multiply the R. R cos A, cos B sin A plus R sin B cos. What is the R cos B? This is X sin A plus Y cos A. So, Y cos A. Okay. So, this is formula. So, this is the matrix representation. X dash Y is cos A minus sin A sin A cos A X, X Y. So, see here in the diagram. So, this is my old coordinate and this is my new coordinate okay so the old coordinate with an angle phi okay and this is a new coordinate a so the uh, the point is rotated the point is rotated now let's consider an example to know more about how the object is going to be rotated i'll just take an example here so first let me write you the what is a new uh, old uh, triangle so let's take 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. X-axis. This is X-axis and this is Y-axis. 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay. And here this is minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, minus 8. Okay. So let me take this one. So all coordinates apply A, 2, comma 2. Okay. B 8 comma 2 and C 5 comma 5 somewhere is here. So this is my coordinates. A and this is B and this is C. So now I want to rotate the triangle with an angle that is the theta or phi whatever it may be theta or A or anything it's a 90 degrees they are given. So what is the new coordinates they are asking. Okay so find out the R first. Find out the R first. So, R is cos theta is 90 degrees, right? Cos A or theta, anything. Cos A or theta. Cos 90 degrees, sin 90 degrees, minus sin 90 degrees and cos 90 degrees. So, then you will get 0, minus 1, 1, 0. So, R is this. Now, find out the new coordinates of A dash. A dash is equal to R, 0, minus 1, 1, 0, R into old coordinates of 2 comma 2. So if you multiply 
0 into 2 and minus 2, you will get minus 2. And this is 1, 2 is a 2. So, minus 2 comma 2. And what is the B coordinates? 0, minus 1, 1, 0. The B old coordinates are 8, 2. So, if, if you multiply, uh, multiply you will get minus 2, 8. Okay. Now, C. C is 0, minus 1, 1, 0. So, what are the old C coordinates? 5 comma 5. And if you multiply, you will get minus 5, 5. Okay. So, now, now apply this. So, A dash minus 2, 2. Somewhere is here. And B dash minus 2, 8. Somewhere is here. And C dash minus 5, 5. This is minus 5 and this is 5 somewhere here. Okay. So, this is A dash, B dash, C dash. See, this triangle is rotated with 90 degrees. The, and the triangle rotated is 90 degrees. So, this is how you need to apply the rotation technique on a 2D plane. So, I hope you get your solution. Students, still if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.